peeps, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the sewing room. I've got some more Cobra Corsage on. I've just finished it all, I am going to wear it with the same Hortensia that I've been wearing for the last three days. I tend to do that. I kind of gravitate to a colour and then make outfits around it. Then I've got the 9345 denim skirt that I did in the Savannah collection. So this has got the Savannah in the pockets and the waistband. I have had to add two extra holes to my belt because otherwise it wasn't fitting me, which is kind of nice. Really liking this outfit, very pleased with it. So I am back down here and I am going to get on with some tops today. The second by hand London Anna top in the rayon fabric this time and then the 9006 in the same print. I'm also going to need to make the bias binding up that I have cut out of that fabric for the 9066 because of the way that it is finished. I'm going to get on and get those sewn. Hope you've enjoyed the waffle that went up this evening. Yeah, I it, it was a long chatty one, so I hope you forgive me. <laughs> like I said, in that waffle there will be proper sewing videos coming very very soon, I promise. Yeah, I'm just going to crack on and get these tops sewn hopefully it won't take me too long to get both of these done then i can move on to the shirts that i want to make because as i mentioned i would like the basic shirt fa fab um, words are hard the basic shirt video to go out on friday that might not happen we shall see it might be the other way around it might be dino top then shirt or shirt then dino top we shall see. Anyway, uh, waffling at you is not going to get any sewing done, so let's get on with some sewing. One hour later. Top number one is complete, and now I'm going to make up some bias binding because I'm going to need this one for the 9006. This one is just the same colour thread, so I might as well get both done at the same time. That's the next task. Okay, bias binding, five metres of this one, just over seven and a half metres of this one. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to use this one for, but like I said, I couldn't just get rid of that large Dolce & Gabbana piece, so now I have Dolce & Gabbana bias binding. This one is going to be used on the 9328 dress and also the 9066 top, which I'm going to start now. Two hours later. Top number two is complete. I think I like this. It is a squeeze to get it on because there are no fastenings in this and it's not cut on the bias, which really surprises me because the long sleeved one is, but I can get it on on and off over my boobs which is great because I was a bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to and I would have to undo some French seams and put a side zipper in but I don't need it. I kind of like the high neck at the back and the higher cowl because my 6563 t-shirt the cowl is quite low cut and actually the I think the long sleeve version of this one is is also similarly not not quite as high necked as this one but I do like it I do like it a lot I ditched the facings because I hate facings there were facings on the armholes so I used the bias binding that I've made and top stitch that down and there's also visible top stitching on the hem of the cowl and then also the hem of the top as well just because that's the way that it's finished. I have also shortened this by four inches because it did come down quite quite low. I'm much happier with that because I am always going to want to wear it tucked in. It wasn't long enough for me to be comfortable wearing it as a tunic, although I suppose I could elongate um, because I do think this is nice. And if I do get round to making leggings and then feel comfortable wearing leggings, I could always wear this, elongate this, wear it as a tunic over the top. I'm sorry but I would still belt it just because that's my preference and I did add more shaping to the waistline of this top than actually comes in the pattern because again I prefer how this skims. That was another reason I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get it on and off but yeah I think I like this. It takes 1.2 meters of 150 wide fabric so it isn't the answer to all of my one meter or less pieces of fabric that I have in my stash top. So <laughs> I will make more of these. I do like this. This is the second one. I, I like it short sleeved. Um, I like it sleeveless. It does come with short sleeves, which I'm kind of interested to try, but I prefer 
fully long sleeves with lots of like gathers in them, lots of room in them, or flutter short sleeves. And I'm not sure how a fluttery sleeve might look on this, but I'm very pleased with this particular iteration and I will make more of these for sure. So I'm going to start working on the skirt of the 9328 next because I would like to get that done. Not that it's going to drop on the bias because the other two that I've made out of that same lightweight viscose fabric haven't dropped on the bias at all but I'm, I would like to make it up and get that done and then we'll see how I feel about progressing with the skirt. I thought some of you might be interested to see it untucked as well so you can really see the shaping that I've put in there. Two secs, let me have a look and see what sizes I graded between. That's my pattern here. So I did Oh wow, size 14 for the bust, an 8 for the waist, and a 16 for the hips. So this is really not meant to be this shaped, and I'm very lucky that I can get it on and off over my boobs. I do think, you know, that I might make it so that it kind of, because like I said, I've cut 4 inches off. I might actually retrace and extend it so that it kind of came to the sort of like here, because I could see myself perhaps wearing this with leggings especially the longer sleeved one with like a waistcoat over the top because I actually think this neckline could look quite nice with one of the waistcoats that I've been making we'll have to experiment and have a look obviously not this print yeah I can see myself perhaps making a longer version of this there is a little bit of pulling in the back here I think that is more to do with the thing that I'm wearing underneath of this rather than me needing to do a sway back but I possibly could do a little bit of a sway back back there as well but yeah really really pleased with this very pleased with this indeed there will be more of these sorry <laughs> I'm really not sorry three hours later skirt is done ends are bound and I can leave this to hang and possibly do its thing on the bias I don't think it's going to though it is however five minutes past ten so I'm gonna call it a night for now I'm very pleased with everything that I got done two tops and my skirt I'm gonna work on the bodice of this tomorrow morning fingers crossed I can get this done sort of mid-afternoon and then I'm gonna move on to the shirt projects so yeah I will call it a night for now, so I hope you've enjoyed the little bit of waffle from today, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, lovely peeps. Welcome back to the sewing room. I have just gone out and got my lunch. So I've treated myself to a caffeine-free Coke. I love this stuff. Just found out this morning that the dressmaker's ball date has been changed slightly. It was the 8th of October, and it's now going to be the 1st of October. Tickets are going to go on sale on the 15th of July, so keep your eyes peeled for that on the Crafty So-and-So Instagram and website. I'm very excited. I was, the original date was at the end of the October retreat, so I was seeing if everyone wanted to attend the ball and if changing the dates of the retreat would work better for everyone um, but thankfully it also happens to be that weekend also happens to be the knitting and stitching show at Ali Pali so the crafty so and so have moved the ball forward to the 1st of October which is great so uh, yes mum and I will definitely oh and Big Bird will definitely be attending as long as we can get tickets fingers crossed so yes 9328 time skirt is hanging up and ready to go I think I'm gonna have to line this fabric. I do, th um, I have got a, a nude colored slip on today. So I think what I'm going to do is get it to the point where the zip's in and before I sew down the lining, try it on and see what I think, whether I need to have a lining in there. I have got some of the acetate viscose lining. I think I have enough, I hope I have enough. Otherwise, I need to order another bunch of the viscose maracane from the fabric room, which is three pounds per meter. I kind of wish their viscose voil came in a white colorway, but unfortunately it doesn't. I think the lightest one is like a buttery kind of color, but that would be slightly better for linings. But the maracane is nice, so and I use it quite a lot. I bought 10 meters of it, um, maybe not recently, but I bought 10 meters of it. I've lined this dress with it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy another 20 meters this time because I have a lot of viscose dresses that will need lining. And I also have a couple of white dresses that I want to make with, I then put uh, floral appliques onto them. So yeah, I'm wearing the 9345 in the goldfish cotton, no, the goldfish viscose poplin that I got from fabric.com. There is no more of this, I'm sorry. 
I bought it ages ago, is a Tilio fabric. I have hopefully got enough to make a shirt out of this because I think I bought six yards because fabric.com is selling yards. 9345 shirt dress. I made this last year and it was too small for me and now it fits me perfectly. So I'm very happy about that, which is awesome. Anyway, this waffling is not going to get the 9328 sewn. So let's get that done and see if we need a lining in it. A few moments later. I have just received a very lovely parcel all the way from Finland from Elena. Thank you so much. It's very exciting. It's a very nice box as well. I'm going to open it and hopefully not attack myself with scissors. Much sellotape. Oh, 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 wow. Well, it's very leafy. Very leafy and floral in there, very. How pretty. Oh, what a lovely letter, Elena. Thank you so much. That's so lovely of you. I'm, I'm not gonna read it out, but thank you so, so much. Oh, wow, these are gorgeous. These are some buttons from her grandma's stash. And they are very pretty. Thank you very pretty indeed and then these are all handmade gifts that she's made for me so oh wow we were talking about things to do with my grandmother's buttons and she mentioned these like little flowers that you could make and use the buttons as the centerpiece and so she's made me a selection of colors to choose from and there's different ways of wearing them as well they are gorgeous. So there's two different pin styles in there, so I can either put them in my hair or on clothes. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you so much. I like the green one a lot. <laughs> Actually, this one would go very well today, wouldn't it? I have got um, the goldfish scrunchie in 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 back there amongst all the hair and then there's two little parcels as well which are i mean the wrapping paper is beautiful and they're very well sellotaped so i don't think i'm going to be able to say nope save the wrapping paper at all but it's very pretty always blue and sparkly oh wow now she says there's something to keep your place and something to bring more color to your day is this a bookmark it's very cool it's very sparkly and shiny. I like it a lot. Is it a bookmark? You will have to let me know. It's got a little handmade tag on it as well. That's gorgeous. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, they're gorgeous. Four pairs of earrings. Elena, you're so talented. I have to keep covering my face up so the camera will focus. But the camera's not focusing. Oh, they're gorgeous. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. She does say, I know you don't want us to send anything, but I wanted to congratulate you on your birthday. So happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. That is lovely. The, the letter is wonderful. Thank you. And the letter is what the PO box is for, but this, this was a wonderful present today. Thank you, Elena. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so spoiled. Okie dokie. So I have a bodice with a hole in it so i have finished off the insides as well i've bagged out the lining and the sleeves so i'm now going to attach this to the skirt then put in the zip and then see what the lining situation is like for the skirt it's really not going to take me very much time to cut out lining if i have enough of it that's just going to be the question is if i have enough of it we shall see uh. definitely needs lining so I've cut it out and I'm going to get that sewn next. Later. And it's finished. I have put it on with the belt that I've been wearing today because I didn't notice and I've kind of got a repeat of the pattern at the waistline. But I probably will always wear this with a belt so it's not the end of the world. I love the little flutter sleeves. I really like the um, gap at the, or the circle at the back, that back opening. I think it's really, really nice. I do need to remember that I need to put on 
suntan lotion if I wear this dress out in the sun though because I have had comedy tan lines from a keyhole back like that before although it was square so it looked even more silly uh, let me just tip you down so I totally cut off my head but kind of trying to give you an idea of what the actual dress looks like very glad that I've lined it it really did need to be lined because it was basically see-through. I'm also really glad that I decided to make this dress with it rather than the 7945 because the 7945 would have been see-through and I would have had to have worn a slip underneath of it and that kind of negates the point of that dress because you know it's supposed to be easy breezy as little on as possible in high heat. So this is a very nice alternative. Very very happy with this one and I will make this again. I do like this length of sleeve. It's very similar length to the Sew Over It Eve dress sleeves. It did come with the longer flutter sleeve that came to about here and I'm not sure that I would like that one. So I think I will stick with either the super long sleeves like the navy one that I made back in January or these little fluttery sleeves. But yeah, really like this dress. Oh, I did eliminate the centre front bodice seam on the outer as well because it's just not necessary unless you're doing stripes. So I cut this on the fold. But other than that, no changes. Oh, well, I lined it, I fully lined it, which this dress is meant to be finished with by binding around the neck edge and also around the keyhole at the back. But I kind of thought that that would end up quite difficult to get it lying flat and perfectly. So I fully lined it, which means that I didn't have to French seam everything. It does mean that I had to make two bodices, but if you French seam everything, you sew every seam twice anyway. So, you know, sort of similar amounts of work. But yes, very, very pleased with this one. I think it's very, very pretty. So yay. Another leafy piece done. So I will be working on the shirts tomorrow, I think, or maybe the border print dress. I did want one of those to be a video. So I'm gonna do another, make, can I make a dress in a day border print edition? Cause I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna do the same kind of like, make a series out of it. Uh, we've done the shirt dress edition. So this will be the border print edition. Going forward, just do some more in that series. So lots of kind of make a dress in a day is basically. Why am I struggling to talk today? I don't know. I've also got the 9345 shirt that I want to do a video about as well, which I've started. It's the making the basics to fill the gaps in my wardrobe because there are giant gaps in my wardrobe because I keep making everything in print. And then like, you know, this shirt that I wanna make will be brilliant to wear under the waistcoats and with the smarter things that I do enjoy wearing. But at the moment, I don't wear those waistcoats because I haven't got anything to put underneath of them. So yes, there's gonna be the Sew the Basics series as well. So the cream wool off-white shirt will be the first of that. But it depends what I want to do tomorrow. Maybe the shirt or maybe the dress, not sure. Not sure very excited to see how that dress came out comes out because i do really like the idea of it but very pleased with this dress and this is the vogue 9328 there will have been a picture up here the entire time for you guys to have a look at i love this pattern i will make more of this pattern i can see myself actually maybe making this sleeveless the arm side is kind of a nice shape without the sleeves in so I think maybe a sleeveless one might be quite nice as well because whilst I love flutter sleeves they are a pain to get underneath of a cardigan as you guys probably know but yeah very very happy with this we'll make more sorry <laughs> we're not sorry at all I really like wearing them so yeah but very pleased that I have got this one finished today right I am going to call it a night and go and make myself some dinner Alexa what's the time it's 8.19 p.m. Oh wow, no wonder I'm hungry. Yes, I'm gonna go and make myself some dinner and uh, chill out with Chi and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.